Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. Guys and gals, it has been a week since we planted the garden. And I'm rather surprised. Now this row here is corn. Uh, we've got a disc up. Get some, we've got to need to get the cultivator in here and mound up over the corn. Probably doing that next weekend. This weekend we had rain. So we're going to come in and spread some fertilizer along the corn. Like some 3300 or just some real high nitrogen fertilizer. Use the cultivator. Whenever we use the cultivator to mound up around the corn, it's also going to take care of a lot of that grass. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at all them beans. Beans, beans, and more beans. So if y'all didn't see the first video, this is, I believe, Mississippi uh, Black Eyed Peas. And we've got Mississippi. I think this is Mississippi. And it's like, Kevin, what do you think? What do you mean you think this Mississippi? Well, th that over there is purple hole peas. And then pink eye, purple hole, and these are black eye. Planted different types of beans. All right, so let's talk about the coronavirus situation that's going on. Are you happy with how your preps have helped? And I am. I am. I, I know that I've got my garden going on. I've got my food stored in my lar bags. Before the big rush, I was able to go to the store, get some more stuff. Right there, right there. So I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. The only thing that I found a hole in my preps was hand sanitizer. I did not stockpile that much hand sanitizer anyway. So whenever it, uh, the rush hit, now see, over there we've got the black eye peas coming up. And over here we've got the pink eye. And see the difference between the pink eye. See that bulge right there? That's where a plant's going to come up. That's where a plant's going to come up. And this pink eye is a long way behind the black eye so i'm really liking how fast that black eye is coming up am i happy with how well my preps have done so far yes i am yes i am very happy i've got my n95 mask got a case of the elm i had put up so whenever it came out that you need mask or suggest wearing mask okay no big deal i've got a case of those gloves I'm good on the gloves so the only thing that I'm running into that I'm surprised by is the, now these are probably snap beans. I think these are either Contender or Roma 2 snap beans. So we're going to be walking over. I'll get to the okra and the squash and zucchini here in a few minutes. Some of y'all may, may not be able to tell the difference between the grass and the beans. That's a bean. That's grass. So, yes, I'm very happy with how well my preps are working out. There's nothing really surprising going on. The CDC, pretty much useless. We all knew that. So, boy, Kevin, there was a thread. There's a thread on the forum that asked, that asked me directly. The person quoted, me, quoted one of my posts. Do you find the CDC credible? I'm like, no, no, I do not find them credible for something like this. For something for like high blood pressure, heart disease, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I find them credible, credible for that. But for as for a pandemic outbreak, no. No, I do not find them credible at all. If you're, say, 20, 30, maybe even early 40s, you may not remember the HIV outbreak. Or whenever we had a possible chance of containing HIV and the CDC screwed that up. It was, if you want to watch a movie on the HIV outbreak, go watch, and the band played on. Yeah, those are all snap beans, guys. Snap beans are coming up good. I got to build a scarecrow or something to keep the deer out of here. All these rows, down through here, all the way. Snap beans, peas, squash, zucchini. All right, let's get over here to the squash and zucchini. Now, see, this is also, again, I think the, um, the California black eye. So I think these are doing very well. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison over the production and the harvest of the California black eye and the pink eye purple hole, Mississippi pink eye purple hole. The World Health Organization botched it. They delayed declaring this a global pandemic until it was already out of control, out of hand. We did not close our borders. A lot of nations did not close the borders. Look at all those peas coming up, guys. 
peas, peas, and more peas, which we all knew that. Obama did the same thing whenever the swine flu outbreak of 2009. Did not close the borders, economic reasons this, economic reasons that, trade this, trade that. Just so we knew we knew that was not going to happen until it got really bad. But by the time it gets really bad, then it's too late. So there's nothing really surprising going on. The only thing that I am surprised about is Dallas and Houston are not major disease hubs. All right, so let me throw out a little scenario here. All right, so you say, Kevin, why are you surprised that Houston is not a disease hub? Because we've got a couple of airports in Houston. We've got Bush Intercon Intercontinental Airport. We've got a community that houses a lot of pilots. A lot of pilots live there by the name of Kingwood. And it's an affluent community. You can look it up on the map. It's right next to the airport. Well, the community is made up of a lot of engineers, pilots, very wealthy people. Just very, very wealthy people that have a lot of uh, opportunities to travel. Put it that way. And so whenever the disease started breaking out, I was really expecting Houston, North Houston, to be a disease hub just because of the amount of travel that goes in and out of Bush Intercontinental Airport. So far, that hasn't happened. Houston does have its cases, but not like New York. The case first showing up in Washington State was a surprise. Well, these beans here aren't coming up yet, so I have to keep an eye out on those. Not sure what's going on there. This row here, these are contender snap beans. Contender snap beans. I did see some squash and zucchini out here earlier. The outbreak in the in Washington State did surprise me. Uh, that was the last place I figured that the first cases would be uh, would be known. So, but New York, we all knew what was going to happen in New York. We all knew that. We all knew that stuff was going to go downhill quick, and it did. It did. People are panic buying. We'll continue to panic buy. Okay, guys, this is okra. This is going to be one of my main crops this year. And this is okra right there. That's a little okra. These two rows here, I should be able to get fertilizer, water, weather, all that. I should be able to get a nice crop of okra out of just these two rows. If I need more, I'll plant more. All right, so let's go down through here. Rock in the garden. This doesn't belong here. Get out of there. See if we can find some zucchini or squash. So the thing is, is that if you could go back and review, review your preps and redo them, what would you change? Personally, I wouldn't change too much. I'm very happy with how I've been prepped. I think we're, well, I think we're still a long way from seeing society break down. In Italy, I've been hearing news of Italy, the stores having to hire armed guards to protect their shipments as they get uh, truckloads of stuff in people are running out there grabbing boxes off the trucks and stealing them i don't i do not know if we're going to get that bad here but if it does i hope you are prepared anyway i'll talk to y'all later